on the I was a little and uh, by the time I realized that I didn't do a preview video I decided for now on I won't be doing no more preview videos I'll just be doing um, review videos from here on out um, I apologize I won't be doing any more preview videos but I'm just going to do just review videos for the for Bears games from now on um, it just slipped my mind that I for that I forgot to do one I was super busy and I didn't have the chance to get one done but I'm not going to do that anymore so I'll be just doing uh, videos on the reviews on the Bears for the re for the remainder of the season and like I said um, the Bears ended up on a squeaker by winning this one 16 to 14 uh, closing seconds of the game I thought the game was over myself but somehow some way Mitchell Trubisky got that pass off to get it to Allen Robinson to get down with one second left to get the timeout in and have our, finally, our kicker, Eddie Pinero, nail a field goal at the end to seal the game for the Bears was truly outstanding. Eddie Pinero is our kicker now. I have fully confidence in him for going forward as of right now. He's got the leg straight, so that is all good. So he was precisely on Eddie Pinero. He's the one that sealed the Bears the win on the day. Uh, offensively, uh, the Bears didn't uh, do too much offensively, but they did pound the ball. I liked it very much. They had more runs than passes, which is about even, but they had two more runs and they had repasses. The Bears needed to run the ball more. They did do that. I was pleased that they did that. And also the Bears got their only touchdown on the day was from uh, David Montgomery. He had the one lonely touchdown on the day in which he had 18 carries for 62 yards. Cordell Pallis Patterson had two carries for 50 yards, but on that one for 46 yards, they said they clocked him at 22 point two miles per hour for that speed that he did on that 46 yard run that is freaking oh that was insane they clocked that speed for him oh man it was a good pickup from uh, Ryan Pace to get that guy um uh, Tariq Cohen they had four carries as well for 18 yards Taylor Gabriel had one for 14 but Montgomery was the leading was the feature bat this week uh, Mike Davis didn't do too much either this week. Wasn't expected. Uh, Receiving-wise, leading receiver, Allen Robinson, four catches for 41. Adam Sheen had a pretty decent game, three catches for 24. Uh, they need to get uh, Allen, not Allen Robinson, uh, Anthony Miller going. He hasn't been seen... Nothing much. Only caught one pass over the past two games. It can't happen. He has to get more involved. Uh, Matt Nagy condensed the offense this week, so they were uh, limited of what they wanted to do. Uh, Mitchell Trubisky on the day, he didn't get sacked. Um, he wasn't too spectacular. Only 16 to 27 for 120 yards. Um, it was basically a run, run ball game, basically. Matt Nagy decided to run the ball effectively, and he did do that. So that's a good thing. Uh, defensively for the Bears, um, the defense was gassed, I can tell, in the laters. In the third, fourth quarter, they were gassed pretty much. That allowed the Denver Broncos to, uh, to get the score late. But uh, other than that, the defense was okay. Um, they were just severely gassed. It was with the high heat and the altitude in Denver. What well, really did it? Um, that what did it for them. The defense would be fine. It was just the high altitude and that was a causing factor for them. But the overall, the defense was somewhat all right, you know. But uh, for yardage wise, they could have uh, shut them down a little bit more. But they were basically doing dinking and dunking pretty much throughout this game so they were basically getting the ball off real quick in that so uh, basically dicking and dunking that's all they were doing all day today the Broncos were so 
Uh, you take it for what it is on the day. Uh, Joe Flacco, he threw the ball 50 times. That is a lot. He was 35 and 50 for a 292. With one touchdown, he did have that one pit to Kyle Fuller. That was nice to see that the turnover the Bears got somewhat helped a little bit. Um, their yardage for running game, Freeman, Lambert carries for 54. Lindsey, 13 carries for 30 cents. Their leading receiver was Emmanuel Sanders, 11 catches for 98 yards. Freeman, 5 catches for 48. Uh, defensive side, uh... Bob Miller and Bradley Chubb didn't get no sacks again for the second straight week, which is something that the Bears' offensive line didn't allow the Bears to get sacked, which is nice to see. Um, basically, this is a win for the Bears. Um, next week, we got the Washington Redskins on Monday night. Um, I'm going to be uh, watching. I'm probably going to be watch double screen. I'll be watching uh, the Bears game on one screen. And I'll be watching uh, Raw on the other screen to see what's going on with that. So basically, I'm going to be having two screens going on side by side each other to see what what is happening. But overall, we got the win here. The Bears are 1-1 one one now. We got a winnable game next week against the Washington Redskins. And hopefully, we can do better offensively next week against the Washington Redskins. Anyways, this is the Game is on 100. I am out. Later.